Shed's boys and girls, and of course, Monday night, two days, six thirty through till eight o'clock this evening. And it is a Tilton Talk show, bringing you all the news and views of not only ourselves but your good selves as well. Sponsored by, of course, Thomas Small Affordable Cars, and in conjunction with Image Cleaning, uh, we've got a Boston team in tonight. Boston, ladies and gentlemen. But before I introduce the team, crikey, you've been in a bit of blooming trouble over the weekend. <laughs> crikey, no yeah, chatter. Yeah. Hmm. This might become a regular feature. Well, she went mad at me, ladies and gentlemen. All I did was put ginger in the curry. Crikey. She blooming loved that cat. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Introduce you to the team, Mark Adams. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all okay. Chris Brown. Good evening. Chairman of the board, Watto Watto. Good evening, everybody. Paulie Ipkiss. Good evening, all. And Claire Newhouse Giblin. Good evening. Uh, have I missed anybody? Yeah, yeah, him from the Good evening, all. What's, What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Every week. Have I missed anybody else out, or is that it? I yeah, you missed me as well. We know you yeah. said the best of last night. Oh, yeah. oh, there he is. <laughs> Craig <laughs> Courtney. Good evening, all. I did know, Craig. I was just winding you. Sorry. He didn't. He didn't. I'm in a devilish mood yeah. tonight, I think. A devilish mood. Yeah, Mark, yeah. Martin Meredith. We, we, we Mark Meredith. Martin Meredith. Yeah, Mark. Hi, Mark. Good, Hi, Mark. good evening, all. Hi, Mark. All the way, you know all the way from Billy Texas Bob. in the United States of America. Billy Bob. Actually, Mark, oh. can you give us an impression of an English accent plate tonight? You know, can we forget this mixed sort of accent? Can we have well, a should, we, should we all talk in American accents tonight, then? No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, Chris, you're on the gong show. Chris, you were on my camera when you said that, and you, your head didn't even move. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies and gents, we go two and a look, and unfortunately, right at the last gas. 2 2, one point out of uh, the last, is it 12? Mm. Yeah. yeah. One point out of 12. And don't forget, we were lying sick. I'm not looking at anybody. I'm not. I'm not. Just need to gauge a bit of reaction here. Uh, Paul, did you go? I did, yeah. I was very Coming impressed. Up. Yeah, in the first half, I was. that was some of the best football I've seen for a long time, I've got to say. Um, we, we played what Rooney was trying to do to perfection. The problem is, though, it's, you know, fitness levels, isn't it? We've got to be able to last. If we can do that for 90 minutes, then we'll be a damn good side in this division. But it's so hard to to do that for 90 minutes, isn't it? But in the first half, we just played them off the park, really, didn't we? Got, obviously got, got the two got the two goal lead, and uh, or got the one goal lead, sorry, and then got the second goal in the second half, which I thought we more than deserved as well. We were by far the better side up until when we got the second goal. Own goal, wasn't it, apparently? Yeah, yeah it was an own goal, yeah, yeah. Bakuna sent it across mm. and their players deflected it into his own net. They all count, mate. They all count. Yeah, of yeah so, that yeah. build goal was good as well. Um, but no, I've got to say, Led, what a difference he makes at right back. And then we put oh, Drama yeah, left yeah, back, yeah. and that completely made us a completely different side altogether. And I like Longello, but just not at left back. I think he could play left wing. Um, but mm. going forwards, he's very good with the ball at his feet. But defensively, you know, he does get a little bit uh, found out at times. But that's just not his position. He's not a he's defender, not he's an attacking player. player. So I think the first thing Rooney should do in the window is, is try and get some backup for Buchanan. You know, if we can, at some point, try and get a, a, a more renowned left back in. Just to, a bit like we've got, we've got two good options at right back with Drama and and Laird. We need the same on the other side. Um, you know, because if we can do that, then you know we'll, we'll we'll solve more problems that we've got. But I just think Stansfield is a special player as well. You know, if we can, He's, can we hang on to her? That's a, that's the big issue, isn't it? Well, we've got him for the season. I don't think. Yeah, we'll yeah, find yeah. Him. I, I mean, Fulham could have done with him on Saturday, to be honest with you. He would have been better than he was playing up front for Fulham on Saturday, in my, mm. in my opinion. I watched a bit of that before I went down the Blues. And, you know, um, don't, don't mean to get onto Fulham at all, but, you know, Stansfield would have been, I think, a better option than that, uh, Vin- that, that Vinicius who yeah. was playing for uh, for Fulham. But um, I don't want to shout about that too loud because, um, you know, we want him, we do want him. And if we did sign him, that would be a major coup because I think he's at least £10 million pounds worth. I really do. Mm-hmm. When, when you, mm-hmm. when you look the top player in this division and you think Shay Adams went for 16 million was it we got 16 million for yeah. Shay Adams I think he, he, he could be every bit as good in time he's only 20 so I don't want to put too much mm. pressure on his shoulders but I do think that he could get over 20 goals for us this season the way mm. if we, if okay we, cool I'll, I'll uh, gauge some reaction from uh, from the lady the lady with a very nice wallpaper behind her 
Claire. There ain't no lady. Now, Mark, you mean Mark, Nick? No, you, you, mentioned, you said lady, so yeah, uh, Mark first. I know, yeah, I haven't been called lady for a while. No, um, no. I thought we, we were brilliant. Um, first half, I was like, this is like, compared to all the other games we've seen, brilliant. Um, I think he highlighted it in the um, in the interview after the game. You know, when you've got people like Billick coming on, who I don't really, I don't know what's happened to him, Longello and things like that, the game totally changed. I think if we get the fitness up and he can bring on other people who have got the fitness, I think, you know, it's a positive start. I was gutted we only got a point. But it had been coming in the second half. Um, I just think, you know, Longello again, I know we have to point him out, but, you know, both goals, either it either came from the left or he was back post again. So I just think it's something he needs to work on. Mm. But I think, you know, um, I thought Miyoshi was good. I thought James had an excellent game. The balls he was doing, but Laird was sensational. And I know he's my favourite, but he was... You could just tell he's just got that extra little bit, and I think he would. He's made for how Rooney wants to play, and I think Buchanan as well coming back. You know, it just makes you feel more solid at the back. I think Awu was brilliant, but the refereeing decisions. You know, when that bloke took drama out, that should have been a yellow call back yellow. You know, and then Awu what rolls the ball to Ruddy. And okay, it's time wasting, but the amount of yellows that they should have had, and then we all of a sudden get them. I don't think the referee was great either, but I'll take a point and you know, more optimistic going to Sunderland, I think. Mm. Definitely. Hey, yeah. Okay, well, summed up, mate. Nice one. Um, I, anybody else there? Shame, so. uh, yeah, I was there. Yeah, like, what I'll, I'll just go around. When. when when uh, when they took uh, Laird off, my heart sank because I thought, what's he going to do here? Uh, and basically, we went back to last week's back four, which basically played like they did last week. for, for ten, It was only 10 minutes, but it, it cost us in the end. He, that's how good Laird was. Not only was he our best player, he just shut that side of the pitch down. There was nothing coming from there. And 20 seconds after he, he went off, they scored. The bloke skinned uh, uh, the other drama, uh, turned him inside out, bumped the balls across. As you say, you know, we got we got three or four defenders st- who couldn't deal with the cross and it got put in. Uh, and and, and I, 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 I actually felt sorry for Wayne Rooney because he doesn't realise... Uh, and if if Saturday makes him realise that's a good thing, is that if bad things can happen, they will at St Andrews. I mean, Manchester United could have lose us the best player in the world, and they wouldn't have conceded two. Got we lose one, and we fall apart. And he done everything right. He he made he made the right. Um, uh, even the substitution of Led. Led could have stayed until the end, but why risk him for another eight weeks for te- space of ten minutes? And I thought he did everything right. He, I looked at the team sheet and I thought, what else is going on here? Uh, no Dembele, but Burke's still in the side. But Burke played up front and he did a good job. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I felt so sorry for the bloke. You know, he, he's done every, he's, he, 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 he could have done any more than what he did. And then he got undone by an injury, basically. And I, I agree with the uh, player about the referee. That, 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 booking of the time wasting it was after 20 minutes we're going to time waste after 20 minutes are we all he was doing he was going to take a, a, a take the goal kick decided the goal kick would take it and just give him the ball now that's exactly the same thing happened in the girls match the following day the referee did nothing ludicrous I mean, mm. I, I, mean I, I said it at the time but the rules of the game are that if you commit a foul and you're taking out a player, as he did in that first couple of minutes of the game, it makes no difference whether it's a couple of minutes in, 20 minutes in, 70 minutes in. It's a foul. It's a booking. The referees just seem to be, for me, too lenient. 
within the first few minutes of the games, almost to say to people, oh, well, you know, you've got to have a chance to calm down. No, they, they've, they've committed a bookable offence. Therefore, it should have it should have happened straight away. Um, instead, the inconsistency was just totally ridiculous because we had one going down the other end where a very similar type of foul, and straight away, out came the card. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just wrong. But also, I'll tell you what else is wrong. A uh, premiership referee gets relegated to the championship because they have a bad performance in the premiership. Right? What are we? Are we a second-hand football league or something? Because that's not right. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it should be, be suspended. Suspended, suspended all stuff. Yeah. You sit, watch the telly next week, pal, because you're not, you're not going near a football match again. And so, and so the, sorry, so the decisions that that referee made at that game obviously influenced the game. What are the replay as well, then? Well, they did a VAR check on it, and that's yep, the that's problem. Right. It was the Wolves game. They did a VAR check and told him, but I, I completely agree with you, Craig. Do we I know mean, at the end of the day, a referee is paid to do a job. If they're in, it doesn't matter what league they're in. If they underperform, they should then either not be paid for the job that they've just done because they've underperformed, or they don't don't get to ref another game, like you say, a suspension, Watto, and then that way they're also not paid. But actually, what we get is we just get, oh, you've been naughty in the Premier League. It's all right, you can go and ref a Championship match and do exactly the same and still get paid for doing a bad job. It's like a sorry, Craig. It's like a second bite of the cherry, isn't it? Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> you know, like, you get a, you yeah, get a so. second chance. But it's just Craig, ridiculous. Do we know that if a ref has a good game in the championship, and I know there's not many of them, certainly when it comes to blues, but if there's you know, if a ref has a good game in the championship, does he get promoted to the Prem then as well? And replace who's been devoted to the championship. Is that right? They do, yeah. Because yeah. uh the, the lady that refed our game against Middlesbrough, uh Rebecca, I can't remember her surname. Welsh. Welsh. Welsh, yeah. She's just got herself uh, and I think she was actually she worked in the Premier League for the first Fourth time. official for the Man U yeah. game. So they do get that opportunity to be promoted. So I'm all in favour of the, you know, promotion, relegation side of things, but it can't can't be based on performance, you know, and making bad decisions. You make a bad decision that influences a game, you shouldn't ref another game or at least have a break until you've learned what's what's there. Um, The other thing uh, I've got to say, you know, a name we haven't said, but for me was outstanding and the best game I've seen him in a, in a Blues shirt and we've slated him a lot is Burke right? we yeah. gave him a yeah. hell of a lot of abuse game. A lot of uh, he that, was yeah. absolutely phenomenal running that line and he for me perhaps the number nine position for him is, is his best position he should have scored he should have yeah. buried that one yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But but don't we scared. think that sorry Paul don't we think though that Burke has a t- I know I'm not being dramatic but he has a little touch of Rooney about him as in his the way he plays, his personality. So I think Rooney could get the best out of him. I'm not comparing him to Rooney, but you know what I mean. There's, there's a, mm. you know, there's Atti- attributes Atti- there. as well. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, mm. No, I can't. I can't see that. But I generally think he had his be- best game. But I think it's because he was given more of a free role. Free role. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he likes mm. being put that. Like he's not somebody that I think would be up and down, up and down. Well, actually, over the top. When you got Stansfield and Burke running. You know, Burke at full full power is quick. So I agree with you, Craig. Because pace is a partnership, don't they? Pace and power. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of what I was seeing with them, but definitely with Bakuna and Miyoshi behind them as well. You know, that gave us, um, you know... And he got man of the match. You know, I know yeah. we talked about Laird and everything else, but actually Burke was the one that took away the champagne from the game. Oh, right. Uh, so it, it, it's good to yeah. see. And, and again, that's also confidence... You know uh, what? What we need going into an extremely tough game at the weekend. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well. 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 <clears throat> what competitions we got today, Paul? Anything? I think we have. Yeah, I think we've got a few a bit later on. We got. Um, have we, Craig? Actually, uh, we have. We've got squad number game, and uh, as per the past weeks, I'll be doing the top goal scorers, uh, stroke goals scored. From that season as well, uh, and, and just to please everyone, I'm not going to do higher, lower, or the same. I'm just going to be going higher or lower. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're is talking it, about it, the positives, but fantastic from the <coughs> club at the weekend for the uh, remembrance what? side of things. I think the uh, the silence was impeccably, uh, you know, held by everyone. But 
Uh, also, the, the the big flag going around tilting into the cop was uh, was a, was a nice touch along with what was on the pitch. Um, and and as always, the round of applause that uh, the old guy got as he walked through the middle of the stand. And I'm not on about Chris at this point, um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the applause that he got was just superb from yeah. from everyone. And it's you know it, it was great to 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 see and actually be part of. Mm. You, probably all, you probably all know I heard a rumour that there's of pies are back in the box as well <laughs> they're in a box they're in a box what? they are in the box and the I band's never... playing keep right on I mean we what? had a lovely day it was great yeah and also good to see the bee in the seats as well on in the lower club yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was it was good uh, be- before we move on, I'll just just go, just go back to the. Um, there's a few comments on YouTube, but I don't want to miss because we'll because uh, I will do. Um, uh, bad ref calls have made the game great for years. Sixty six, but just too many cameras and scrutiny now. Says Mister Ford. Uh, well done, Blues, for getting behind the team and Rooney. Sadly, top class. We will get there. Did uh, yeah. Did we all get behind Rooney? Did everybody get behind yeah, he's Rooney? Always going to get behind any manager that yeah. we've got, but I think he's got to stop singling people out when he comes out after the game. He's, yeah, he's like, he, th- uh, he throws them under the bus, doesn't he? He didn't say names. He didn't. He didn't name and shame. But I just think he needs to stop sort of uh, criticising individuals, shall I say? Just you know, yeah, a, yeah. leave that kind of thing for the dressing room. I would if it was me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's man management, though, Paul, isn't it? And if, if he needs some help in man management. Management. I'm sure that's out there. I'm sure it's there. So mm. you know, and and, and also <laughs> dealing with the press must be a very very difficult thing. If I was to ask you a really awkward question and put you on the spot, yeah, mm-hmm. you, you, your reaction would probably be slightly different unless uh, you know, like we, if we were just talking about the game in general. But his interviews seem to be like he's still a player. You know, like the the, the way mm. players share things. Does he keep touching his face still? You know, he it, it doesn't. Sad, he, he yeah. just he basically just tells you as, as it is, and and doesn't really protect anybody in what he's saying. But um, yeah, I think that's something that he's still unexperienced with. But um, hopefully, but I'm with Paul. I think you just got to be really careful, especially when you're trying to, you know, back the uh, the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we had an absolute rock at St Andrews. He he was superb. Um, Chris, you have to help me with his name. He went off to. Um, Work in the England setup. Lee Carsley. Yeah. No. No, no. Me, media Noel, wise. No Blake. Oh, no, me. media. Media. Andy, oh, Andy, Andy Walker. Walker. Andy Walker. Andy Walker. Andy Walker yeah. I, I tell you what, his, his skills were off the scale. Mm-hmm. Off the yeah. scale. He knew exactly what to say, when to say, and how to say it. No wonder he got picked up and, 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 and mm-hmm. uh, oh, yeah. you know, went into the England setup. Um, but but it, it, it was like, any kind of question that you asked him, he got a perfectly logical answer for it. And if you couldn't yeah, answer yeah. It, I, I can't answer that at this juncture. Uh, I do get it to a degree. I do, I, sorry, Nick, I do get it to a degree with Rudy, though, because it's just frustration as well, because he's trying to obviously yeah. coach players to do what he could do when he played, and some of them just simply aren't good enough to do it, are they? You know, And it can be frustrating. Well, this is a, sorry, Paul, but this is a Zola situation then, isn't it? No, I don't think so. No, I agree. A, well, I, hope not. I certainly hope not. One point, one point into twelve. When you look at it that way, it suggests though. No, but I think there is, you know, if we carry on playing like we did in that first half on Saturday, then I'm more positive. I'm more positive about that. But let's just wait and see. The only time's going to tell. I, just, yeah. I think the, I think the club's in a better situation all all around than when Zola was there. I think that's the difference. Yeah. Is that, you know, when we had Zola, we had the the problems with the Chinese owners and everything else, and it was all doom and gloom. But I think that having the backing of what we've got. Um, just yeah. helps that a little bit, and I, I, I do. I actually do see, and again, same as I said last week, I'm still not 100 percent convinced that Rooney's the right man. He, you know, he's going to prove us right or wrong as it goes on. Yeah. Um, but I actually do have a better feeling this time about a lot of things, and I think that's to, down to the stability now of the club more than yeah. what it was all over here. Yeah. I think, to be honest, to be honest, Mark, I think for the first time in four games, you could sort of see a really. It's like the haze had been lifted. You think, oh, that's right. That's what he's trying to do. You can actually see it. Because he's had a week. Like, he's had a solid games. week. Sorry, Claire, what are you saying? Yeah. So the other games were like three games within a week. He's had a whole yeah. week. He's had a so whole week. What, you know, I'm not jumping on anything. And, you know, it's one game at a time, like it always yeah. is. But there was improvements 
You yeah. know, I even Lots. said I'd give that about a six or seven out of ten. Obviously, if we won, brilliant. And that would, I mm. think, really kick-started it. But I generally think, you know, am I singing his name at the moment? No, because he needs to prove more to me. Um, but I'm right. not going to have a go at anybody else if they are. That's their decision. So I still think there's a divide. And I'm just hoping, you know, on Saturday, hopefully people will come together a little bit more. But mm. we'll see. Now, Claire, are you, I mean, look, look, this, the impending window that is coming up. Um, yes, of course. Look, Rooney is going to attract more players to St Andrews than... than um, uh, uh, the last guy. Oh, God, my memory is terrible. He's first. <laughs> <laughs> it is John awesome. Eustace. <laughs> just, just goes blank. It's happened to him all my life. Don't worry. Uh, but he's he's obviously got the potential to pull in better names. And I'm saying names. And I said last week, names don't make games, and names don't win games, right? But he's got the uh, the, the pull in power uh, to bring in more than what we've got at the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, well, that's the plan, I'd just yeah. like to tell you that I mean, on good authority, that uh, John Eustace had very little input on who we signed. Yeah. Oh, can imagine. Yeah. Very little. That's the same with a lot in of people. In fact, in fact, somebody told me a story. Who knows? He's a friend of his, who said when they signed Miyashi, they asked him about what he thought, and he said, "Well, he's a bit frail for this division." And they said, well, we signed him anyway. Mm. So, you know, that's... We, we, yes, right. we... OK, watch that, watch that, watch that. You're the chairman of the board. Okay. Who do you think's making those decisions? Who? Mm. The, the, uh, the, well, uh, Craig Gardner and he's... Don't incriminate yourself, whatever you do. <laughs> who's made what... The, no, the decisions on who was bought was made by the scouting team and... Mm. and yeah. Craig Gardner. Yeah. I now, think... he's pulled off some. He's put. He can't say he's he signed many poor players. Uh, we all we, we you know we all got excited about who who we signed at the start of the season under 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 the umbrella of the new management, and it was all done through Craig, and we all said, "Oh, great job, great job." Mm. Now, has Wayne Rooney? Is Wayne Rooney going to take over that function and sign his players? Or is Craig going to carry on and say, Wayne, do you fancy this bloke? And he says, no. He said, oh, well, sign him. So you'll have to. Um, you know, we, you know we what? If somebody did that to me, Alan, at work, I, I think I'd pick myself up, sort of desk and just walk out. I think now, Wayne, with Rooney being the manager now and not the coach, I think that was yeah. addressed to us at the start was that, Rain Rooney would have a lot more mm. influence in a lot of the off the field things. So God, you know, Craig Gardner's done a great job and we, we've all agreed to that, but I think Rooney will come in and I think a lot of the signings will be done through Rooney's networking more now. And so yeah. it'll be a choice of that, but we're still under, you know, different embargoes. So we've still got to remember that we haven't got millions and millions of pounds to spend. So we're not going to go out there and get people that everyone's, you know, they're calling all these names out, but we're still only going to get the average player that is got, leaving a club or going on sale for a cheap price because that's all we can afford. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, so it's, it's how we recruit and who we recruit because, you know, we could say Rooney's going to go out and get this. You know, they talked about this guy from Miami, it's Martinez. And again, I've watched him a couple of times at play at Miami and I've never seen him being such a strong player honestly it wouldn't be one that I would say yeah we definitely got to go and sign but the really the, the realistic of it is he's a free transfer he's an extra body he's a striker that's all we can do right now as, as a club mm. you know okay, Mark, just a quick question buddy um, do you think that then the, the authorities that run football should take a different sense of this? I mean what, what was Liverpool Liverpool spend last year was 1.8 billion but they well, make that money back. They make money back. Job, we don't. Yeah. Like, we don't, we don't make it back. Literally, the tour. <laughs> so I took my little brother on the tour around Liverpool and Anfield. It was non-stop. Like you could, and each person's probably two people probably spent fifty quid. And the amount of money that they make. I mean, their shop is probably the size of like the Tilton. Yeah. That so, I've and it's two it, tiers, yeah. and you can get 
Liverpool, anything. So that's why they can make the money. That's why we're like trying to sell a lot of things because, you know, we get more money for them. Yeah, okay, right, okay. So so then we've got a club shop, yeah? We used to have one in town. Uh, that's no longer there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got a club shop, but then why don't why did we start selling? Yeah, am, I, am I right? Put me down if, if you think I'm wrong here. Please, please. We will. Seems to be such a lot of plastic tack in there. Not anymore. Or oh, what? No, it's different now. I think yeah. it's very yeah. Yeah. Bear in mind, stuff. Craig, bear in mind, I haven't been in the club shop since last season. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so that's what, you've got to under, what you've got to understand as well, though, Nick, is that, you know, Birmingham City mem- uh, stuff is going to be nowhere near the Manchester Cities, the Liverpools, and, and things like that. We, we're not a worldwide brand, so we're selling to the fans that go to the stadium and buy stuff. Liverpool, no. City, all those are selling on the internet. Okay, so right, I get that, Mark. Nice. Yeah, you know, no, no, no. Look, you know? I don't mind being wrong ever, right? And not ever, right? Apart from when Shannon's here. Um, <laughs> but no, that's a, that's a great sum up. I love it. Love it. Nice one. Thank you. Yeah. 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 But, but then that's what they're trying to do, though. They're trying to make yeah. us the global brand. So people do buy our merchandise far and wide all over the world. And, and now, mm. like Wayne Rooney, will help with that, won't it? Yeah. Um, and, and, and they know, how, they know how to do it. It's, it's, all about, it's all about getting the results on the field, though, isn't it? And, you know, that's as soon as we start. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. But off the field, I think the club's in a really good place now compared to what, obviously, we go back to the Zola thing. It's like Mark said, it's in a completely different place now to what it was back then. And um, moving I still forward, think there's more to come as well. I think yeah. it's been, um, dare I say, it's actually been quite quiet on the mm-hmm. on the, the, the backroom side of things and, and further money coming into the club. So I think there will be announcements, but perhaps times in line with the window, you know, um, mm. because what we bring in is ultimately what we can then look to to spend. But we've also got to realise we are, you know, we're always about six months behind. So all these figures that people see and hear about mm. are always in the past. So we're firefighting still against what happened last season. Mm. So if we can, if we can go out and, like Mark said, you know, if we can shop in a window, get a, a couple of freebies who are willing to take a, 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 a... They've also probably got to take a cut in salary, um, but they might get a decent signing on fee, or there might be some bonuses behind, you know, the performances and stuff like that. There's always ways that the club can, can do things. <coughs> but the one thing I will say is they will not risk FFP in any way, shape or form. Oh, no. So right. going into January, if I'm completely honest... I'd be really, really pleased if we saw more than one face. I honestly mm. think we might have <laughs> the same one. And we're that's because we can we're play with the lower yeah, yeah. Sorry, Craig, yeah. we're basically still suffering from the um, the red nap era, aren't we? Um, um, it's not, no, not, it's the whole not just red mm. no, we've, we've done two years now. We've, we've yeah. gone two years now with half a stadium. Yeah. So even your match day, even your match day money is is, is probably half. Oh. Mark, Mark, I'll, have to, I'll have to stop you there, mate. We can't even fill it our pool. Oh, but Nick, Nick, the place the weekend, right? It wasn't far off what you could class as capacity. Mm. And the thing that I'm seeing is that we are going into games now where we are seeing less and less empty seats because people mm. are interested in coming back. I was really surprised, in all honesty, at the weekend at the attendance. Because off the back of such a bad run, I expected it to be a lot lower than what it was. Yeah, Craig, I didn't think it... Craig, no, do you know... Still... Sorry, Craig, do we know if the whole Lower Tilton was available for, for tickets to be purchased? Because it wasn't... Uh, anyway. They came out late, didn't they? Yeah, they came yeah, there was late. a block yeah. and a half, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe. Yeah. So the... It was pretty good, um, it was pretty good, I thought. Up until when it aired corner, so the corner ones were still not available. Right. Um, and half of that block next to it. But I think that those those seats in that bottom tier, uh, you know, there was obviously the season tickets have gone out to people. Uh, and I tell you what, great touch from the club. The uh, the German flag season ticket. Brilliant. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, really you what, was that? what was that? Mark Adams, are you back in your seat, Matt, behind the goal? No, Paul, I'm still, we're still in the Gil Merrick. Um, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, Peter, sorry? Are you going? No, back? no. We, 
I don't, that's the thing. We're, we're 50 50 because I personally, I, I wouldn't mind going back, but people I go with, friends and that, they want to stay put. So it's like, my mate back. loved it. My mate normally sits right near the top with us. And yeah. her and her boyfriend moved, and she said, honestly, it was a game changer. She said she loved it. The atmosphere was great, especially when we scored the two goals. Mm. So yeah. she would recommend it. It's so made I, a I, massive difference as well. I, I right, Claire, say, sorry, you know, explain, explain, totally explain where those people were sitting, because I missed that little bit. So they, were in, so they normally sit, um, I think it's two blocks away from us, Craig, at the top. Yeah, in the tilt and, um, They moved to yeah. block six, and they said that it was brilliant. In the safe standing area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said it was yeah. really good. Like, she was worried that she wouldn't be able to see and she saw it all and they said, yeah. like, the atmosphere was good down there as well. So, definitely. One of, sorry to put in, Claire. One of, <clears throat> one, of the, one of the questions that have come up from people I sit by, my, my friend Jane brings a, like, eight-year-old nephew, Jack, and the, <sighs> the one thing about going back is that they're worried that the little ones won't be able to see. Try and get as near to the front as possible, but if you look at how they are, so even, mm. like, Cardiff done it perfectly. What mm. happens is, is you've got, like, there's, like, it's different to a normal seat. So you've got, yeah. like, a little step up as well. Um, mm. But or, a lot of the kids, they always go to the front a bit. Yeah. So if you get a ticket, try and go as far as close as you can to the front. And worst case scenario is they could stand on the seat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Chris Brown and, and Watto could remember sitting on the sideline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can do, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, were you subs? Were you all subs? I've had this seat in the main stand for seven or eight years now, and Saturday was the first time I had anybody sitting next to me. Mm. It was it's full. Really it was full. Back. What, it was full. Shower? Normally, normally I've, I've got the choice of three or four seats either side of me. And Not certainly tra- the, one, the one seat which I've tried to buy from uh, other people, they say, no, that's 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 owned by somebody, and they've not they've not sat there for eight years. Maybe you'll change change your office time. <laughs> Did you change your cologne? You're off this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they just didn't want to sit by you. Are. <laughs> the quality of the seats in the lower cup, though, I must say, is top drawer in it. When you look it's at the seats, in the lower cup, they're mint, aren't they? Yeah, I went and, when I was down there yesterday, I went down and, and actually had a, a, a proper look and. A, I tell you, you can tell that the club haven't scrimped and saved in terms of the the spending getting this done because it, it really looks the bees and ease. You know, it's it's not even sounds really daft, but they've even got little patterns in the seat when they fold down and everything else. So it's mm-hmm. it just looks expensive. Um, quick, quick question, Craig, because I don't understand. Does the spend influence or impact upon the transfers? Um, no, because oh, it's okay. expenditure on the running of the club. Yeah. Right, yeah. cool, thank you. So, I mean, the, the other thing for me is I cannot wait until the Leicester game because mm. that place is not only going to be packed, and I have seen a comment, and I've got to agree, it's not necessarily going to be packed from the football in front, but the, the wag war that will go on uh, on the day. Oh, yeah, of course, um, yeah. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> wag of the tasted, is, is on. And I've watched I, I, the whole series. You've got to watch it on Disney. We've seriously got to come up with some songs for that one. It's great. <laughs> oh, it's going to come. You're going to have the Blues fans singing about Rooney, and you're going to have them talking about uh, about their side as well. And it's going to be. I, I think. Firstly, I want it rammed. I want it packed. I think it will be. And I tell you what, the noise in that place. That it, it'll be the first time for many, many, many years that we can honestly say that. It, it, it's going to be loud and it's going to be it's going to be a hostile environment that that particular night. Um, but let's not you know let's not just keep it to one <clears> gap. <throat> if we do get to that point that it's open and it's full, then we want to see that every single time because Mark mentioned it. You know the revenue that comes in helps us then with our with our spend. But also don't forget any any money that's put into merchandise, any money that goes into food, drinks, and everything else, all goes into the club. And, uh, you know, there was a big change again at the weekend in terms of service at the counters. Um, for the first time, you know, I don't know how many years, I actually heard the Tanai clear. And yeah, it was great. The time yeah. and hearing clear was just, yeah. you know, yeah, it was, that was great. Um, but I'm I am, begging for that, but donkeys, mate, I promise you. Yeah. 
There's been a couple of comments as well, and I've got to say, I think Claire mentioned it with a band. Right, yeah. it was a craft band. Well, I think we should have it more often. Southampton oh, have it every single week, and I thought, yeah, yeah. Mr. Blue Sky and Key oh, White Art. Yeah. We should do roll up. Was this a brass band on the pitch? Yeah. yeah Rose, do you have the drums? Yeah, the drummer We're in the background. Now, hang on, too many people talking, sorry. I was disappointed that I didn't do roll out the barrel. Barrel. <laughs> that would have been ah. fun. <laughs> oh, that would have been tough. <laughs> I reckon you guys could set up your own little band at the back of the tilt one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're burning the city, we don't need a drum. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. I've got a side uh, those are words I will treasure for the rest of my life. We sing it at away games because obviously yeah, be next I to them. absolutely hate them. Oh, Norwich had one and it was like, and Middlesbrough, they're all getting a drum at the yeah. moment. Huddersfield, another one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not oh, going to tell Huddersfield, you that there was a yeah. drum at the ladies yesterday then, so I'll we'll keep I know, I've part. already heard about that and I know who brought it, so I've already told them. How is it? How is it? Right, you, you, you know, I can't take an air horn in. Now, I was famous my air horn in the eighties and the nineties, yeah. And yet, you can take a big bass drum with sticks, which you can poke people's eyes out with. Huh? Oh no! This is the, right. the drum was there, but they couldn't have drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging his head well, shall we talk about the ladies' game anyway? Nah. Right. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Claire. I wasn't there. Craig was. I was. I watched, uh, I watched it on YouTube. I've got to but say, you know, three games now on the bounce at home, uh, nine points, and a team that are the polar opposite to what we're seeing at the start of the season. Um, they're full of confidence. They're scoring goals for fun. Um, and, and yesterday, you know, it was uh, two teams very close to each other in the league. I mean, to start the day, we was only separated by a couple of points. Um, but 20, 25 minutes in, and we finally broke them down. And first, a superb goal from from Charlie Devlin, the first one. You know, it was uh, made on the right-hand side, and then she just cut back in and, and curled an absolute beaut into, uh, into the bottom corner with her left foot. Um, and then a few minutes later... Opposite side of the goal, straight again from the right hand side corner, and, and polished off after a, a a very poor clearance from from the goalkeeper. And yes, in the second half, you know, Reading came at us. Um, I would say deserved the 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 goal that they scored um, again, very well set up. But then after that, we looked comfortable. Um, the ladies have come together as, as a group, and it's really really beginning to show. Mm. Uh, they're climbing the league. You know, people are are not really noticing them going too far up because there was a bit of a gap to start off with, but they can soon close that. And again, not by much, but the attendance was up. Uh, huge credit and thank you to all of the people that were down there yesterday. It was uh, not only the game, but the Bali celebration oh, and, and the work that was put in for Blues for All and Punjabi Blues was Phenomenal. What was the food Brilliant. like? What was the food like, Craig? Come on. Oh, absolutely amazing. You know, to part of the celebration, the, the group had arranged food for everyone that was in attendance mm. outside wow. the ground. So there was samosas, there was uh chickpea curry, and mm. both were stunning. Good. You know, how much how much it cost, Craig? It was free. Free, free. free. No, yeah. It was free. And, well, you know, just, uh, the me. one thing that I can say is the club are trying their absolute utmost. And I know I've said it week in, week out now, about more people going to support the ladies. We were just shy of 900 yesterday. Mm. Yeah, it's gone up a bit, yeah. It's gone up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can go up more, you know. We, we've mm. got, I keep saying it, we've got 10,000 plus season ticket holders. And every single one of those people, also, I know you can't get there all the time, but it's a free ticket. Mm. It can be, you can take the ticket, give it to friends, family, get other people down there. I can say that for the next game and onwards, we're at Tilton Talk, now have uh, some tickets to give away for each game. So we want to encourage people down, and that's not just individuals, families, footballing teams, <clears throat> uh, you know, those people to get down there. The kids are really beginning to enjoy it. 
Uh, yes, there was a drum there yesterday. Oh, um, dare I say, it didn't take off, but it probably could do because the kids <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's about that, that whole day and that whole experience. And there's also a huge difference after. Because once the game's finished, it's not a case of like we see, where the men walk around the pitch, applaud the fans and walk off. And then you have to go and wait outside for, you know, 35, 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, an hour, hour and a half sometimes. This mm-hmm. is, they have to warm down on the pitch and then the ladies come up into the stands. You know, they, they mm-hmm. come and meet the fans. Um, they're there for photographs. There's posters given out at every game, little flags, so the kids can go and get those signed. And it just makes the big whole, you know, family sort of atmosphere come together even more. Um, so we want to help support that even more. So like I say, we have tickets available. The la- uh, lads and ladies, it's uh, the Birmingham City Ladies group as well and supporters group have been phenomenal. Redditch supporters group do a hell of a lot as well. Um, so uh, try and get behind it as much as we as we possibly can and Two weeks' time. I'd love to say that, you know, we could get above 900. Mm. Okay, okay, we challenge a 1,000, you know, but uh, we, we, we could do it. And I know from from the comments of the players how much the fans mean to them, you know, and that, that's the key. We can help this team climb even further up the league and go for that that promotion. It's got to be tough. Very, very tough, but we we can do this. And but a few years ago, Craig, we were looking at our ladies. A couple of years ago, we were looking at our, our ladies team literally going out of business. Yeah, mm. but the one thing we've got now is we've got a group of owners. One of which he's massively into ladies football in the states. In fact, I think uh, one of the one of the the directors actually owns uh, a team out in the states. So they're seeing, you, you know. People go in there all the time. They're looking at the Women's Super League and seeing thousands of people attending games. Uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, they're getting you know ten thousand plus that are going to a to a game, and there is absolutely no reason why we couldn't do the same. A few years ago, Birmingham were in the FA Cup final and took thirty thousand to Wembley. Now I know oh, that that's a one-off special occasion, but why can't we get more people down? Mm. Mm-hmm. I've got to say though, could I just say that when you're walking down that cop car park now with the blues badge on the outside, and I know this is something probably minor and I'm probably being a bit dramatic, but the two screens and the badge in the middle of the stand on the outside is just wonderful, isn't it? You know, so like, Paul, mm-hmm. you, you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to disagree with you, right? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sure. So I don't like it there. Like amazing. It is, it is brilliant. It is. Superb. Are you agreeing with me then? Yeah, of course I am, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the ball, and you've got more you out really on your chin than you have your head chin. <laughs> I would like to see. I'd like to see in the other side on the railway. Yeah, I would too. All the yeah. way around. <laughs> yeah, I've only been here four months. No, I'm just saying, like you know, like the back of like, the Gil Merrick, and you yeah. know, because obviously it stops off at the Tilton yeah. and stops off at Gil Merrick, and then you can just mm. see how old it is. I yeah, think yeah. they managed to do like the whole thing. Yeah, that that yeah. that will be like. Know, it will look man. Hey, you can see that. Sorry, Mark. Go on. If you take the train from New Street, obviously you can see the Gil Mary. That's where you see. So if you had that lit up, then even from like the city centre, you can see. Yeah, you can see it there, can't you? Yeah, my understanding on that is that there could be an issue with it being above a rail track. Possibly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the conversation I had about are it. We say, are we saying then that we've got a football stadium next to a railway track, yeah, which we can't have a sign at the back, and yet the that train will travel through, I don't know, cities and this, that and the other, and you can see shops and everybody will have their signs up and lit up and da 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 uh, well, if we can't If we can't have it on the stand, then just do it like Batman and so the, the badges in the sky. Yeah, if we can't have it on the stand. Every, every, every home game. Yeah. Every home game, some of the fans. You could just have Rob stand there with a badge. Yeah. It's a roof. No, no, don't don't there, send Mark. people away, not attract them. <laughs> yeah. Mark, are you leaving the NHS uh, any, any time shortly? Because we've got a job for you. <laughs> yeah. just, just give me a different I'll have a, feel. That's my night job. Yeah. Walking into that when, walking into that cop car park on Saturday, it just gives you a different feel completely about going down, and looking at that outside yeah. when you... 
great feeling when you see it. And you're like, wow, is it the street is... food, Paul? Is it the street food that you like? No, no. no. <laughs> I've, still never, I've still never tried it, you know. I've never tried it. Oh, of it's brilliant. The bird is, like... is like exceptional. Oh. It looks amazing. That rubs, that rubs uh, oh. curry looks amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. my yeah. mouth's sweating now. I was chatting to Dave O <laughs> once. Guys, That's something and, else. Uh, he was eating one when I was chatting to him. It looked amazing. It really did. It does, yeah. uh, oh. I just want a double cheeseburger with onions and tomato sauce. I don't want to order my shirt. You can still get one. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's going to arrive. McDonald's, yeah. No, that's not. Oh, come on. You know, you know why? That's I, I, that's I actually, not a burger. I actually that's not agree wafer. with you. I actually agree with Nick on this one. I'd, I'd, the old-fashioned burger stand was the best. Mm. They, they were nice. Was just that, Mark. It was a smell. Yeah. When you were walking towards the ground, yeah. 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 Once, you, once you get that, that burger and onion smell, you know you're there. You're there, yeah, mate. You're there. Here's one yeah. thing for you, then. The street food, right? Mm. Would you get rid of street food and put the food back outside, knowing the fact that all of those street food vendors pay a premium to sell inside the stadium and all no, of that. No, I just have a choice. Craig, Craig, I just oh, have a choice. But the, what they take inside the stadium, yeah, but I'd the still... The of that goes back to the club. What about what about personal choice? We're all allowed personal choice, yeah? yeah. I, I, I personally don't want to walk down to McDonald's and get a thin burger, a see-through burger, hmm? which does well, not look inside look the stadium. anything like... The adverts. Yeah, they sell them in the yeah, stadium, burgers. burgers. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Burgers from the stadium. Yes. Who yeah. mentioned the Tilton? Tool. Back of the Tilton. Yeah, um, I mean, so the way that I see it is... Sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. Man. Of course, brother. <laughs> can, can we describe it in detail? Get that. <laughs> right, okay, go on. <laughs> no, the way, the, I, I agree with what you say, right? You used to be wicked going up the, up the main street. And yeah, you would get that that smell of of burgers and onions, and it would make you feel as though you're in a hey, room. It's wrong. But you can get that inside the ground, not just get it inside the ground. You can be no, putting them not not like pot. they were outside. Though. They're not the same, mate. Honestly, they're, they're, the, same like... people. Yeah. Hmm? they're yeah. the same people. They're the same people. <laughs> if you miss the, if you miss the smell, Nick, you can smell my socks. <laughs> I feel sick. I feel sick. If you miss the smell, if you miss the smell of onions, just you know, just smell my socks. I'll send you some onions and mature cheddar. You're just completely and utterly dirty. I need some. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Anyway, anyway, people buy them for a premium fee. Yeah. Well, it's money. It's money for the club. Moving, moving on. Mark, um, put, put your business head back on and rethink. <laughs> go on, Paul. 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 Right, go come on, on, guys. It's 25 past seven. Competition time. First competition, gentlemen. Go on, Paul. Yeah, so I'm going to come on to our top five managers first. So, obviously, we had uh, Terry Cooper in fifth. We had Barry Fry in fourth and Jim Smith in third last week. So, I know one. And this is going to be interesting because my personal top three obviously can't be that now because, mm. obviously, I didn't see Jim Smith, but... Um, I'd like our viewers to pick second place now, please, for our best ever um, manager. So who's, who's in second place? So we've oh, are you eliminating the previous three then? Are they are they out yeah. of this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in third. Yeah, okay. fourth. yeah. Steve, so, Steve Bruce. I'm going to go Steve Bruce for mine. Bruce or Francis? Oh, it's so tough. Isn't it? time. I think oh, Bruce because he delivered the Premier League, but it's yeah. a tough one. Oh, but he delivered just about Francis, Bruce. Yeah, I think. Please. I would, I would, without a doubt, wait until next week till number one come out. I've gone for, of course, McLeish for winning the Carling Cup final, which was one of the, the finest days of my life. Standing there, watching that, crying my eyes out with my boys. Absolutely beautiful day. But then he destroyed me. Uh, it doesn't matter, he still won it. Yeah, I've absolutely. got the shirt on tonight as well, by the way. Uh, no, hey. really one for me. And yeah. just so uh, the, the, the message board's lit up since you announced it, yeah. Paul, and... Um, so we've got uh, Bruce A oh, from tight. Nigel Mann. Freddie Goodwin for me and Clayton. Uh, Lillipad went for McLeish. Benji Smith, Don Kavanagh, Warren was a Starling, Paul McCarthy, Dave Twine have all said Bruce A. Roy Haywood with Trevor Francis, Portrait with McLeish. Uh, evening to our actor friend, Richard Haler. Hello, actor. Um, <laughs> Hello, Richard. How uh, really and, and Carol right. Sunderland has it's also said Steve Stevie Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. So uh, Michael Woods, Steve Bruce, 
for the Premier League, mm. but Trevor fancies for the League Cup that we should have won. Oh. And I, I'm on the, I'm completely on the fence between them two because actually, oh no, it's hard. Steve Bruce took up Trevor Francis's team. He did, yeah. Um, Paul, 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 Paul. Savant, Paul, of course. Um, who was the manager when we had Enkelman Day? Bruce. Bruce. Oh, that's it, then. I'm, I'm, I'm in for him. I'll have him. <laughs> first, first season in the Prem, that was, yeah. To be fair, <clears throat> Steve Bruce got us promoted twice. Yeah, he did. He did, he yes. Got, he, the second time was his own... His own team, his own everything was his. I take the point uh, about. I don't think we'd have ever got promoted if Trevor had stayed. To be honest. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Claire, Claire, stop. Right, it's just flashed up on my screen that you sneezed twice. Yeah. How the hell did your eyes not just pop out of your head? You, when you sneeze, it's got a. Because I'm a went, woman and we 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 sneeze. No, Nick, Nick, it's just like ladies when they fluff, they just keep it very, very quiet. <laughs> I want to, I'm really sorry. Just sort of funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Steve Bruce is the winner then, yeah? <laughs> I, I yeah. Agree. Trevor, Trevor was so unlucky not to get us promoted, though, wasn't he, Al, really? When, you know, when you oh, yeah. Back. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Uh, Do you know what I admire Trevor Francis for? He wanted to take the players on, on that... On that, on that um, the, 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 Preston. Mm. Yeah. Playoffs. And he, he yeah. wants to take the players up in that playoff final. Oh, no. And I, I, my, I will always admire. God bless you. Rest in, in peace, my dear friend. Mm. But that, that, when he was going like that, right, come on, no, we ain't having this. Mm. I, what stopped uh, him? Who stopped him? I don't know. From, from my point of view, McLeish would be my number two. Would it? Um, yeah, yeah, because whilst he's brought the cup, and yes, he got us promoted, he wasn't there for that period of time, and he could have stayed. Hang on, you're missing Craig. Yeah, I think you should, you should change. You should change the Premier League, could. Premier League finish and the oh, calling. Yeah, not yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Change the word "could" to "should." Mm-hmm. He should. He, well, he should. He should have stayed. I think he did let himself down. And when I'm looking at also the the votes that are now coming through, a lot of people are saying actually Brucey is number one for them. So this this is really interesting. Now it's becoming a bit of a. A split yeah, but, as we go through. Who's going to be left uh, out is going to be the question. Yeah. I've got to I, say, I, don't forget, don't forget me, Watson and Chris. Uh, can remember how can Ramsey. Uh, yeah, can, I've got to say, if I could go back and relive one day, it would be Darren Carter's penalty in Cardiff. That would, that for yeah. me was my best, my favourite ever moment as a Blues fan. Yeah. yeah. One of my favourite moments on the Chilton Talk Show was actually touching that foot that put the ball in the net. It was brilliant. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's yeah. been difficult. To, um, so, as Mr. King says, it won't work now. You've got to have Trevor and McLeish and Bruce in the top five. And that, well, this is my top three. That's my top yeah. three in whatever yeah. order. Yeah. But. yeah, yeah, that would have been. That oh, would have been. Yeah, that's my top three. And of course, it is down yeah. to the people. And as, as, yeah, Jason, as Jason says, well, you've got um, got two spaces left, and four managers better than those in third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. It's yeah. But it's, it's individual. It's an individual that is, vote. It's, yeah. it's, that's it's not our choice, is it? No, it's, no, it's the, no, the wider no, audience. No, no, it's no, different on age. It's different on age, and it's different on what you're what you're looking at, yeah. right? And it so yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, it, it's a tough one. There's there, there's more than five really really good managers we could choose from, but uh, you know, you know, I didn't ever seen Jim Smith. I'm not at that age, so Jim Smith wouldn't be in my five. But for uh, the majority of people, he was, and then that's what threw the first and second around. But um, yeah. I think go. I, I I still think Bruce for second because I'm going to go McLeish first next week. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Mark. I'm on the same. Well, yeah. For, for anyone who thinks this is all over next week, then think again because I've got something else up my sleeve for the following week oh. and the following <laughs> and the following five weeks. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And I will say, just on the front of, you know, we're talking about opinions and people's votes, but thank you to everybody that voted as well around the question I asked last week, you know, which players did you love the most that you the thought loved the club? And uh, heads and tails, as for a winner, was Stan Lazaridis. Mm. He was miles ahead of everybody from a voting perspective. Um, but... Stranger. It also made Stranger. interesting reading against the, the other players that, that were in there. And I'll, I'll publish the results so that, that people can see it. But there were some names in the bottom half 
that I expected to be in the top half. So if people like uh, Kevin Francis, mm-hmm. uh, Ricky Otto, they actually came quite down in the list in comparison to those that were at the top. And other people that didn't get a mention at all. Um, I Martin think like Mark, yeah, I think like Mark said though, Craig, it's a generation thing again. It's it? a generational thing, definitely. But, but that, another thing I'm going to throw out to our viewers as well. Now, you might have noticed <laughs> like, hey, Marcelo at our um, Take a Seat event with the A Promotions Friday before last, did 27 kick-ups. Yeah, so Danny Sonner did 15, Darren Purse did 11, Danny Sonner did 15, and Marcelo did 27. Do any, any of our viewers out there think that they can beat 27 kick-ups? And if you Hello. can, <laughs> send, us, send, Hello. Us your video, send, send us your videos in to our Tilt and Talk Show page showing you're beating 27 kick-ups. And make no, it the first no photoshopping, the no, no. No, now no, do it live on the no, show. No. Oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, live. Yeah, go on, do it, Mark. I don't have a ball right now. Oh, yeah, well, uh, we, could, oh, oh, so we could get them in. Chris, could we get them in to do it, yeah? Yeah, I've got a ball here. Well, I, I'm, it's too far for me. I'll have to do it here. I can't <laughs> fly there to do kick-ups. Hello. Go on, Nick. Hello. I could do one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> oh, Yeah, if anyone thinks they can beat 27, <laughs> then uh, actually that's better, isn't it? Come and join us on the show. We could do it on Zoom. We can dole you in and, get, and do it on, uh, on live. On Zoom, on yeah. That could we, could do it. Yeah. we could do higher, lower, and uh, the same. Yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah. kind of stuff, Paul, is, 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 is stuff that I've just never been able to do. Not ever. I've got no coordination. <laughs> Nigel Mann, it's strictly no, it's not to use. Oh, that was one. Yes, uh, Nigel <laughs> Mann wants to know if you can use long elastic. I'm sorry, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Go on then, Craig. Hit us with the game this week. Right, so uh, we're going to do, as we have done for the past couple of weeks, uh, squad number game. Yeah. Um, but I'm also going to include with this the uh, goal scorer. Um, but I'm not going to do higher, lower, or the same. We are just going to go higher or lower when it comes to the uh, the goal scoring. So the, the squad <laughs> is 2004. To 2005. No, uh... <laughs> and I'm looking for squad number seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Seven. Okay. No, I got it. Last seven. Eight. Last seven. Oh, uh, well, I haven't, I haven't finished yet. You've started. I can't, you can't have this. <laughs> but, but, squad but, number but, seven. Point, let the viewers have a go because I know as well. Yeah. And no. squad number 14. So squad number seven and squad number fourteen. Oh, they're coming in. Or that oh, season. Them? <laughs> Steve Jobs got one straight away. It's Robbie Blake. Robbie Blake seven, yeah. Uh, Devin Larson, Penos. You know what? Jasper Gronky, I wore seven as well in the same season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I was about to say that. Mark That's Meredith, something. you bars. Mute him, Chris. He's not mm. allowed to say anything else. <laughs> All texting me. <laughs> <laughs> he used to iron the shirts. <laughs> so, yeah. So, number seven, I can tell you the answer. That was Robbie Blake. Oh, yes, the Gronky Arthur. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I can hear you. I can hear you. What about, was this Stern John? 14. Yes, it was Robe. Yes, it was Robe. Not that Stern John was one of the 14s who was the second. Oh, okay. uh, Ian Clayton say Nafty. Not Nafty, no. Yeah, it's before Nafty, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't one of the loans from Liverpool. Was it was it Salif Diaw or someone like that? Nope. Right, it wasn't it Darren Anderson, was it? Wasn't Darren Anderson, no. Yes. Ooh, hmm. it's 14. Roger Hind. <laughs> Roger Hind. <laughs> they played up front with Gil Merrick, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, because that was the season Stone John went, wasn't it? We only had him at the start mm. of that season. Then we signed somebody else, didn't we? We did indeed. Am I allowed to answer or not? Went to, no. Went to no. Mr. Merrily, you, like can, you can WhatsApp me or text me who you think it is, and then if nobody gets it, I'll let you say it. Okay, I'm doing it now. I'm texting. I'm messaging you on Facebook. Really, Stern, Stern oh, John was bought in the tra- January transfer window. No, he was. He was he, he'd been there a few years at that point, Alan. He, but he signed in 02, didn't he, under Bruce? Yeah. Um, and then he went. Yeah, he went to yeah. Derby, didn't he? he and then he went, yeah, Derby or Coventry when it from us. He went Derby and Coventry, yeah. He played a game um, on New Year's Day. And then we signed him. Really? Yeah, he scored, that, yeah, he scored against us. It was, early, it was earlier than 2004, was it? Yeah, Massive yeah, yeah. Down yeah, of that, yeah, isn't it? Of course it was. Go from Birmingham. 
Mm. Going from yeah. Birmingham to Derby. Then to Coventry. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, like, oh, nobody goes to Coventry. No. There's a few I, names look, you mentioned as well. I've ended up here. <laughs> exactly. Well, we no, we we got rid of you today. Um <laughs> So, Medinafti, who has been mentioned, was squad number 36. Okay. Darren Anderson was 32. Mm. So, just was the he, guys that were there. Was and Sally Piao yeah. was 20. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question, Matt? Were, were Nicky Butt, was it? Hang on a bit. Hang on. Claire. Nicky Butt, no. Go on, Bab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Do you struggle with your memory like I do? Pardon? Who, well, who said that? Like, you see, I can't. I, I, there's no with me trying to even contribute towards this because I ain't got a clue. Hmm? I'm just wondering if there's anybody else. Twice, there. so I might, might forget a little bit, but yeah. I'm trying, this one was it another loan. He was a midfielder, I, wasn't it? Uh in terms of it, no, it wasn't a midfielder. <laughs> Why are we waiting? Oh, oh, come on, on let him, let him go on. Put him out of his misery. Come on. Nobody knows. Come on, Mark. Come on, Put him out of the misery. Come on, then. Dookie. Oh, it was Dookie. Dookie. Okay. Who? Oh, Who? <gasps> uh, crikey, I remember, ladies and gentlemen, when I used to be able to move that blooming sound of that. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that, Mark. I wouldn't have got that one. Nah, no, mate. So, uh, uh, still uh, still I'm know, still at a loss here. Who, who was it? Kuki. Kuki, yeah. Yeah. Kuki's yeah. brother. His brother played for Blackburn, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was finished. Did you just say he was finished? That or finish? Come to Blues and he was finished. I was going to say he played for Blues. He must have been finished. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes away from the last fifteen, ladies and gentlemen. We're absolute cracker for you tonight. Uh-huh. Hopefully, uh, you'll uh, you'll not um, let us down as always. But uh, we know you won't. We know you won't. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Sunderland, score predictions, please. Ooh, okay, that's going to be a game, isn't it? Who's going first? Claire, you go first. You'll go, in it, yeah? Yeah, I am. Um, I would take a draw. I'll take 1-1 one, one now. Is that what you think it'll be, though? Um, well, their two centre-backs are out, aren't they? So... Yeah. But then we've I got mean, six players we, out there. Win, it will make everything better, because I'm going up on the Friday night, but... I'll take a draw right now. I think we've you got know. we've got six players out there, including um, uh, Bielik and Gillian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Jones was better than Bielik. Oh, okay, bit. all right. That's a great, so we've great had five, we've had five of those in Eight weeks. Mm. Who? Oh, I'm going to go we've one. Had five of those players out for eight weeks, haven't we? It's only Bielik that's been added to it, right? Yeah. Everybody yes. else has been out so long. It's only Bielik that's been added this week to the miss. Yeah, Bielik's the only addition. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think the longer that they spend with the coaching staff and Wayne Rooney on the training ground, the better we're going to become. So I'm going to be positive and say one 0 to us. I'm going to say I'm going to say two one to Blues. I think I think we're going to uh, get a win up there. Yeah, Ooh. it is going to be hard though to keep a clean sheet the way we play, isn't it? <laughs> I think we'll concede. Yeah. I think we'll concede. But, but, um, if we keep lead fit, we'll keep a clean sheet. Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon, Al? I'll, 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 I'll go to the 1-0, yeah. I'm going to go 2-0 to the Blues, to be honest with you. I, I think we deserve a win now. Come on. Probably deserve yeah. a win, yeah. I think we'll get Craig? Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm edging on the 1-0 as well. Okay. Chris? What, 1-0 to Blues, Craig? Yeah, 1-0 to Blues. Really? Oh, okay. Um, Chris? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy with that, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go for a... Slender one nil loss. Okay, yeah. Have we got higher or lower as well, Craig? No, we have indeed. Hard. We have indeed. <laughs> so, um, Mark, we've got four minutes. Him? Yeah, Mark, what's yours? <laughs> yeah, Mark. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I you, know. Mark. I'm going to go two one Sunderland. So it's not very nice news this side. We can bleep that out. Yeah. I have got a beep somewhere. Hang on. Go on then, Craig. Bellingham, Bellingham to score two. No, oh, no. No, no, or no, you're taking the mick. Um, right, so uh, on to, to higher or lower. Um, and I'm going to start off with uh, number nine on that season, played 13 games, Walter Pandiani. So he scored four goals. Is that all? That's all yeah. he scored in that league that season? South, Southampton, Liverpool, yeah. Chelsea. 
Sorry. Can Can remember Man, 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 Man United. United. Third... Man United. Yeah. Arsenal. Hell? Did he score against Arsenal as well? Oh, he did last game of the season, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, we beat them yeah. one. Yes, yes, yes. Southampton. So, my question so, is: ignore me. We, we are. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, in that season, Darren Carter higher or lower than four goals? Just in the league. Just in the league. Lower. 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 Oh, he scored, lower. In the, he scored in the cup, didn't he, against Leeds? Yeah. I don't put at Fulham away when we beat them because I was there. Yeah. Maybe two that year. Yeah, yeah. I think lower. Hey, I'm going to say lower. It mm. was lower. And Woo! I got one right. I got one right. <laughs> it's a 50 50 chance, Nick. <laughs> Next one. And I just took a guess for it. I probably <laughs> Next one is Darren Anderson. Hey. Or lower than two. Yeah, lower. Lower. I don't, lower. Think, oh, I don't think he scored. Oh, yeah. I don't think he scored. Yeah, the year he scored, oh, no, he scored, scored at Liverpool. Yeah. Scored at Liverpool. Yeah, he scored one. Yeah. I think he scored. scored. I think he might have scored. scored. Right, don't scored. go. Yes, three. Just stop, stop discussing where he scored. I'm going higher. Lower. He's he got three. Higher. He scored against the yeah. back. He's going to be Lower. He is indeed higher. Yeah. And yeah. you are correct, Paul, okay. with three goals. I've got two right I said three. Just play out. Did you do champagne out, please? So, <laughs> next one. Robbie Savage, higher or lower than three? Oh, higher. Oh, higher. 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 Top scorer when you left. Definitely lower. Hold to that. Ooh, Claire. Riley. Uh, higher. He scored, world, he higher. He scored a world at Fulham. Scored against Bolton. Middlesbrough. Scored a penalty Bolton. against Middlesbrough. Scored against Bolton. 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 He threw his shirt in the crowd and threw it back at him. Do you remember it against Bolton? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he had a good free kick on him, didn't he? He got about five. Yeah, yeah. I think he's high. about Seven. five. Yeah, Seven. Uh, he is higher, and it's actually four goals. Okay, only four. Only the four in the league that season. So uh, next on the list, White York, higher or lower than four? Hey, that's a really lower. 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 I'm going higher. I'm going. I've got three right so far. Mark Adams, oh, yeah. shut it. I've got three right so far. <laughs> he only scored against Charlton and... Um, right, Blackburn, he's Blackburn. 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 I think I think lower. Yeah. Newcastle he scored against. Yeah. Scored three, three that yeah. season. Charlton. Scored the header, yeah. So I reckon he only got two. I'm going to say lower. 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 It is indeed lower and it is oh, indeed good two team. goals. So, next one, Clinton Morrison. In that season, higher higher than than two. Two. Are we, we're talking higher than two now. Yeah, mm. higher or lower than two. I think higher. higher, higher. That weren't the Villa season. That wasn't when he scored at Villa against Villa, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mark, 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 Mark. You just said a word that is barred. He scored, uh, two, at Liverpool. He scored two at Liverpool in Anfield as well, didn't he? The two headers. Yeah, um, not that's not yeah. that season. Oh, that season. The year after. Okay, that was the two seasons before that was. That was the yeah, first yeah. season. He got he one at Leicester. Against... He got one at Norwich against Norwich. Yeah. yeah. And he, oh, yeah. he got one against Baggies as well. When we beat him. Baggies, yeah. yeah. He got higher than two. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Probably got four. I reckon he got about six. He actually scored four. Great oh. knowledge. And uh, the last one for that particular season, higher or lower than four, Mikhail Forsell. Be more, be more. Ooh, he was injured a lot of this at that season. He was injured a yeah, lot. He probably lower that sign. Higher, I reckon, just about. Higher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he scored yeah. two on his debut, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. That wasn't in that season. That was the season What's before. Season four. Going lower. He got injured the second season. He didn't score many. I think he scored lower. Uh, than four. I'm sorry, I'm sick of them. Second season in the Prem was when he got 17 goals on loan, and then we signed him the following season. He got injured. And he was yeah. eight. He only, lower. Started, he only started the season with a great partnership with Heskey. Him and Heskey up front did really Heskey, well. Yeah. And, and then, then he, he missed got, a load of it. Yeah. He missed a load of that I'm season. I'm going to say three for him that year. I'm trying to even remember a goal he scored that season. You know, he, he made his he played his first game in the in the cup replay against Torquay in the cup, and I don't and I think he got injured again then, and he didn't he didn't play for a long time after that. Mm. So I, I, I I'm going to I say that he probably didn't score a goal. I reckon he's lower. I reckon he, I reckon he, he, reckon he, he might, got about might two. Have scored one, maybe one or two. Yeah. But the answer he's is. 
it is lower. And Watto, you are correct. He didn't score in that oh, particular oh, season. Really? No, that's wow. what I can't remember. Well, there you go. Well done, Watto. Well done, Watto. Oh, okay, yeah. we're into the last 15 minutes of the show, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Girls and boys, and tonight uh, <laughs> the subject is going to be any kind of plant tree shrub, anything that grows in your garden. And uh, I'm going to start you off with Dahlia adabola. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia aloe vera. What's <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> We'll accept flowers as well. Flowers or plants. Yeah, flowers, yeah, plants, yeah. anything that grows yeah, in your garden. Yeah. Weeds, we'll, we'll accept a lot. So, well, I'm, I'm going to put in there, do they have a bowl of conkers? <laughs> Ash leaf, coal. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with... Oh, Mark Brooks has got a good one. Tim Flowers. Didn't even have to change yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I like that one. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in soil. Mm. I'm in coil. Who? The baggies part, the hawthorns, don't they? Yeah. Do you think we'll be unchanged on Saturday? Same team, or do you think you'll bring Dembele back? Same I think team. I think it'll be the same team. I think it'll be I back. It didn't, yeah. st- didn't start that same starting, mm. you know. Yeah, don't mm. break it. I'm going to go with this one, right? Um, Calathea. Oh, he's Googled this. Hmm. <clears throat> What about Marcella? Orbefella Martins. <laughs> Calathea Orbefella Martins. I've got Who? one from Mama Giblin. She's oh. texted it now. Ian Bush instead of Ian Rush. Ian Bush. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> poor, poor. What about Marcel uh, what about Marcel Oakley instead of Oakley? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Not uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's not good. It's all right. <laughs> Chris, don't don't think he's head up any more. Right. Uh, Mark Steve, Venus. Give too much credit. Here we go. Mark Steve, Venus. Steve, if you can't pronounce your ass. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Venus Flytrap on uh, on YouTube. Uh, Peter Weed. Uh, Tim Sunflowers. Marcel Oakley. Mm-hmm. Chrysanthemum Dugarry. Yeah. No, yeah, I've got I've got one for that. Hey, are you ready for this? This could be this could be the best thing I've ever said all year. Oh, God. Chris <laughs> Gardenia. <laughs> Chris. Dean Ashton. Craig Gardner. Craig Gardner. Yeah. <laughs> I know you ignore me. That's not a plant, is it? No. Yeah, but it's still yeah. something to do with plants, so I'll give you that one. No, yeah, yeah, Gary, yeah, Craig on Gardner. Gary Gardner, then, if you want me to give him that one. Slightly related. Gary Gardner, <laughs> Craig Gardner. We're on a roll. <laughs> uh, so, Mummy Giblin thought it was that good, she'd do it again. I oh, know, but I told her to put it on. Oh, okay. uh, how about uh, Cactus Davies? <laughs> <laughs> Danny Rose. Oh, Danny Rose. God, right now. No, you, you're dragging the barrel, kid. Walter, 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 Pan, Walter Panziana. <laughs> uh, we've also got Dave Twine has said Ian Catkins. <laughs> uh, Gregory Beasley has said <laughs> Trevor like Cherry. Thought, <laughs> Steve, Steve Job. Martin Highgranger. That's, that's very, very clever. Um, <laughs> who's gone for Pep Gladioli? Uh, Don Cavanaugh said Tony Cottonista. Uh, Nigel Mann has also said Stemmy Martins. Not, uh, I'm not, 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 Stemmy. That's Hoppers of Zurich. I want to go Lily yeah, Savage. That one? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Don Cavanaugh has also said uh, Triffid Francis. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Did you have olive branch birth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steve what about, Bruce. What about, Steve oh, what about, Bruce. Come on, Brett, Brett Stanley. Brett, well Brett done, Stanley may have won well done, with Brett. Forget Me Not to Counter. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. What about the, what about the Tilton Stork show? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, oh, no, hang on, hang on, right. What about Bark name, Adams over plan. here? Oh, uh, Paul, yeah. I'm sorry. You, who, who said no, that's, that's a plan. Store? Not a plan. Hey, I said it. Bark Adams. Bark. <laughs> Bark Adams. <laughs> Bark Adams. Barkley, you'd have. Barkley. Barkley. That's Barkley, yeah. Uh, 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 you can now come up with Matthew Buttercupson. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Uh, we've got uh, Pete Taylor with Rowan Vine. I'm going to go for Juniper Bellingham. Yeah. Mark Brooks has said Kevin Pond. <laughs> says, says Fabra uh, Grass. Fabra Grass, yeah. Well done, off grid. Weren't that good? Michael Woods has said Rude Becky Avan Nisselroy. What about what about uh, Moss Barkley? Instead of Ross. 
I did that five minutes ago, right? Oh, was gone. Oh, oh, you know, Mark. Brutally taken down by Claire Giblin. <laughs> <laughs> It really is a plank, not plants. So, uh, Mark, <laughs> just uh, couldn't you plank, add it? Lampard. Yeah. Plank Lampard. Plank Lampard. Plank Lampard, yeah. Plank. Oh, Nigel, man, I quite like that one with Craig Courtney on a thorn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just really thinking about it now. Um, Nikki, Nikki Plantenauer. Oh, Nikki Plantenauer, yeah. Uh, Roger Hyde Ranger. I like that one. Very good. What Please about Lee? Formation? What? What about Lee Farhey? That's not bad. Lee Farhey, yeah. Uh, Lee Farhey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael Woods has gone for Graham Plant Potter. Uh, Willie, Ray Stanley, uh, Willie Bluebell. Yeah, for, that, for the older older viewers like uh, Nick. Nicola Twiggich. Nicola Twiggich. <laughs> no. Jimmy Bloomfield. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Bloomfield. I'll uh, go for Leaf Cardsley. Very good. Lee Parsley. Very good. <laughs> Lee Parsley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that's not but right, leaf is not a plant, is it? It's it's like part of a plant. It's in the garden and leaf is part of it's still technically a flower. It's a leaf. Oh, uh Paul Hansen, Holly Gunner Solskjaer. Yeah. Where's the that's not bad. Um <laughs> Chris Wood oh. land. Dave Twine might be pushing it a bit because he's gone for Noel Blake Bird. Yeah, oh, I think um, I, th- I think Bruce is comfortably in second, then, eh? For the managers, uh, in terms of votes, yeah, Bruce, yeah, mm, yeah, it was pretty close with uh, Trev, wasn't it as well? Somebody called Jill Giblin's gone with Harry Tomato Kane. Mm. Well mm. done, Mum. I'm proud of you. Andy Bonham oh, with Gibb Water <laughs> uh, Graham Wilbarrow. Kenny Graham. Graham. <laughs> Mark, Mark Birch. I'm, gonna, I'm just really going to let you say that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then. Kenny Cockburn, Burnsiosaurus, Anus. Oh, no, I can't say that one. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's got anus on the end. Uh, Rowan <laughs> Twine, uh, Bobby Sycamore. Yeah. Peter Pete, Reed. Uh, Enkelman. What, what about Shed? What about Sheddy How? Yeah, see, do Death King. Yeah. Did we um? Did we think any more about the best? No, that's been. Oh uh, yeah, I, I must. Uh, we must say well done to the chap who, who came up with the best assist last week. Uh, the Enkelman assist. Yeah, <laughs> from, uh, from Alberg, yeah. Alberg, Alberg, yeah. Alberg to Enkelman. Oh, what a, what a that's best brilliant! Assist, that was. Yeah. Good night, Robbie Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have that one. Uh, well yeah. Oh, thanks, Chris. Yeah, no, no. You, you know, know what? Yeah, you know. Chris, I love an accolade now and again, just occasionally. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> An accolade, is that like an anchovy? And Leek, that is... <laughs> that means we can have Olive Malberg then, right? If we're talking about him. Yeah, we can have yeah. Olive Malberg, yeah. Mm. Uh, Brett Stanley's gone with Clarence Seed off. Yes, Seed. Nicky Forrest. Uh, or Nottingham Forrest, Forrest, yeah. Alan Shears instead of Shearer. No, it's not a plant. It's got it. Jasper Carrot. Yeah. Oh, oh, why did we not think of the one? <laughs> At which point, I'm going to go with Olaf Molberg instead of Malberg. Yeah. Because Mal's in your garden. John yeah. Muddy from Paul Hansen. Stem, stem John. <laughs> stem, stem John. Stem John. <laughs> Gary, Gary Manders gone with Bert Sproutman. Yeah. I like yeah. that one, Sproutman. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that Sprout's ladies and gents girls and boys. Ethan, Ethan Laidgrass. <laughs> Hyde Ranger, David Seedman. Nice one, yeah. nice Could one. Could you have um, Harry Kale? Kale, Kale. Oh, yeah, Kale. 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 Kale is a vegetable. It's a green vegetable, very similar to a piece of cabbage. Uh, Claire, very well done. I quite like yeah, yeah. Chris, Question for Mark Meredith. Mark, who's the best player you've ever coached? And was, it, was he at Blues? Good question. Mm-hmm. Um, can't say Jude. Yeah, no, I would say I'd actually say best. Obviously, Jude's ability, but um, Max Bird is probably one of my better ones. I actually took Max was at Birmingham, and then when I went to Derby, I I took Max with me as a um, U ten maybe, and uh, there was there was a compensation package that they had to pay Birmingham at that age, and obviously now he's the the captain of of Derby and. 
and doing pretty well. So, mm-hmm. you know, his, his family was great and he was, a, you know, he, you could just see at his age that he was, um, he was going to be a good player. So he's, he's, he's a good one, but there's a lot, you know, I've been around quite a few. Um, and Nathan Redmond, Mark. Redmond was there. Yeah. yeah. Damari Gray, um, you know, Jack Butland, obviously goalkeeping wise. So got, got spoiled. And then there's even, there's even players like Mitchell McPike and players like that, that we thought were really going to go in the direction and then dropped out a little bit. Mm. Mark, yeah. how did it feel knowing, obviously, you, you had been involved with the coaching of Jude and um, for his comments when he picked up the Young Ballon d'Or Award the other day? Because I love the fact that he immediately recognised the club, but also... Sorry, was that the Ballon d'Or? So he's, he was a Young Ballon d'Or Award, wasn't he? Is it yeah, the yeah. Co- co- copy? Copy. Copy. Yeah. Copy. 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 copy, isn't it? Copy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, I found, what I found with Jude on all his interviews and stuff is that yeah. he's always yeah. been very um, thankful for everything that's happened with mm-hmm. him. You know, he's, you know he's, he's such a down-to-earth guy. And um, he, he basically... You know, he's he's very thankful for everything. And I didn't do massive amounts, obviously, on the field with him. The Mike Dodds and people like that that were his head coaches. Um, obviously, um, he still keeps in touch with all of those guys. And and um, but yeah, just just hearing things he says is it's amazing that he can he thinks back and he's thankful. And it, again, you know, a lot of these a lot of these players are the same. A lot of these players don't have you know massive interviews like Bellingham's had just for for where he is right now. But you you go back, and I still keep in touch with a lot of the boys that we we were involved in in those years, and they're very level headed, and they're very much thankful of of what happened, regardless of how much you had with them. If it was only tiny pieces of their coaching or massive parts of their of their years at either Birmingham or everywhere else. They're they're so thankful for it. So it's it's great. It's great to you know, it's big for me to be able to see Academy kids go into these um into these first teams. Um and that's one thing that I, I really like at you know, especially at Blues, because, you know, being a Birmingham fan myself, it was always a dream of mine just to be at the training ground as a academy coach. So to see some of these guys that are uh, they're from such a young age, make it into the first team, regardless if you've worked with them directly or just been a part of the setup, is is amazing. Great mm. stuff. Here we go. We've got a few more to come in then. Um, uh, so uh, we've got Hyde, uh, Hyde, Hyde Granger. Mm-hmm. Nick, mm. one for you. Uh, Nigel Mann said Ricky Otto, and then he went, oops, wrong plant content. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Wayne Rhubarb. From Steve Job, um, get horse ready, Spield. <laughs> Chris Whitefly from Dave Fine. Um, Ashley Colshed from uh, Andy Bonner. Uh, we've also got uh, the Amazon Frame Forest from Jason Hughes. <laughs> Frame Forest. <laughs> Would you have Nottingham Forest? Yeah, not Nottingham could Forest. Have, but could you have Trevor I Lockman instead of Trevor I Lockman? <laughs> Trevor I Lockman. <laughs> Great <laughs> news has definitely been thinking a lot about these because he's also come up with Scott Dandelion. I oh. like that one. I uh, oh, my dad just my dad just sent me one. He said Jimmy Bloomfields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What about what about uh, Bert Troutman? Beat Troot, beat Troot, man. <laughs> Brett Stanley has gone for uh, Ian Pesticides. Mark, you think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Nick. It's uh, Nicholas. It is time to say. It is, it is. Wow, 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 wow. This has been the Tilton Talk Show. Going to say goodnight to the team. Chris Bramwell. Goodnight. Greg Iblin. Goodnight. See you on Saturday, those who are travelling. Paul Hipkiss. Pleasure as always. Get them entries in for the 27 kick-ups to be beat. Mark Adams. Goodnight, everyone. Have a brilliant week. Take care. Mark Matthew. Even though. Craig Courtney. Go right, all, watch out for the tickets for the ladies and good luck of the weekend. Keep right on. Chair of the board, Alan Watto. Hello, everybody. Have I forgotten anybody? John Boy. Me. Who? John Boy. John Boy. John Boy. Good night, Jim Bob. By the way, uh, all the best. See you later. Bye bye. I will be wearing the same trousers as um, Jude Bellingham uh, when, he, when we do the awards. Okay, so I'm just. Oh, Chris, you've had them on for you, yeah? I just want to warn you, okay?
Have a shave, Chris, please. Ladies and gents, this has been the Talk Talk Show. Good night, God bless, take care. Uh, have a great week and keep the on. Good night, Good night, Good night, Jim Bob. Does anyone else get rid of the onion smell? My feet smell like onions. (laughs) I'm ready. (laughs) Mark, you're war. (laughs) Bye, Mummy Kidlin. Bye, Mum, love you. I thought I'd wash your socks. Wash your socks. I will, they'll be ready for the award. (laughs) Onion feet. Please, an onion together, Mark. You could never have wished for a better time. I ain't told you about my armpits. Oh, yeah, but Mark, I can't... Up the, stri- up the street food. I can't Stop believe you said you'd be smelling onions. Put my quarter pounder and cheese, Mark, what do you reckon? Cheese and bunions. <laughs> Your bunions smell of onions. <laughs> I'm going to go and iron my trousers. <laughs> what a statement, Chris, what a statement. Need to do summer. Nails for extra crunch bar, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a snake belt as well.